This video is to assist you in the assembly and operation of your new Artemis Bahia Golf Car Cooling System for the Club Car Precedent model. We've created this step-by-step -step instructional video to help you get the most out of your Artemis Bahia. To assemble your new Artemis Bahia Golf Car Cooling System, we recommend using the following. A 7 16 inch socket wrench, a 7 16 inch open-ended wrench, a flathead screwdriver, an Allen wrench, and a drill with a number 18 or 11 64 inch drill bit. Power unit installation. Step 1. If attached, remove your car's right side sandbox from the structural assembly model, herein referred to as SAM. Step 2. Remove the car's backrest by removing the two screws on the back. Then lift the backrest up and off. Step 3. Remove the front right SAM anchor bolt. Loosen the right lower rear SAM bolt. Then remove the right side upper rear SAM screw. You may find it helpful to wedge a screwdriver between the SAM and lower body to create a space for sliding in the mounting bracket. Step 4. Slide the rear hook of the mounting bracket under the SAM at an angle to leave room for mounting the power unit to the mounting bracket. Step 5. Loosely secure the power unit to the mounting bracket using four quarter inch nylon lock nuts and four quarter inch flat washers from the hardware kit provided with your new Aramis Bahia. Adjust the position of the power unit up and down as well as forward and back to better suit your car. Once the power unit is positioned, tighten the four mounting bracket bolts. Rotate the mounting bracket forward and under the SAM unit. Aligning the mounting bracket front hole with the front SAM bolt hole. Then reinsert the front right SAM anchor bolt. Step 6. Align the top hole of the mounting bracket with the upper hole on the SAM unit and replace the right side upper rear SAM screw. Tighten the right lower rear SAM bolt. Control Unit Installation Step 1. Attach the left and right mounting bracket assemblies to the control unit housing with two quarter 20 one inch hex head cap screws and two quarter inch flat washers. Step 2. Assemble the left and right support brackets with four quarter 20 one inch hex head cap screws, four quarter inch flat washers, and four quarter inch lock nuts provided with your new Aramist Bahia. Do not fully tighten. Step 3. Align the control unit assembly with the car canopy supports to allow the Z-bracket to slide onto the canopy support arms, then tighten the slide screws. Step 4. Raise the control unit as high as possible as not to impair the view while driving. Secure the control unit with four quarter 20, one and a half inch socket head cap screws, eight quarter inch flat washers, and four quarter 20 nylon lock nuts. Step five, rotate the Oramist Bahia control unit upward to sit vertical under the canopy. Use the number 18 drill bit to drill pilot holes for the two 10 three quarter inch thread forming screws. Air, water, and electrical connections. There are three options for power connections on the precedent golf car. We will be covering the 48 volt system on electric powered vehicles. Please follow the direction for your vehicle. Using the wire nuts, splice the converter leads with the battery harness. The red converter input wire connects with the red lead coming from the fuse. The yellow converter output wire connects with the red lead coming from the connector. All three black neutral wires are connected together.
mount the converter in an optimal location inside the battery compartment using the double-sided foam tape provided. Attach the red ring connection to the positive terminal post on battery number one. Then attach the black ring connection to the negative terminal post on battery number four. Be sure to trim the sealed tube ends before connecting. Connect the air and water tubes to the connections on the power unit. The water tube is blue and the air tube is black. Make sure the tube is pushed all the way into the connector. You should feel two clicks and then make the electrical connection. Route the tube and wire harness under the seat into the battery compartment. Next, route the harness out of the bottom of the battery compartment under the car and forward to the wheel well. Secure the harness under the car with the two cable clips provided. Route the harness up the canopy support to the control unit. Connect the air and water tubes to the connections on the control unit. Then make the electrical connection. Secure the harness with zip ties where needed. Connect the battery harness to the main harness coming from the power unit using the electrical connectors. Replace the seat. Then secure the car's backrest by replacing the two screws on the back. Misting operation. Before starting, remove the power unit cover. Remove the fill cap and fill with clean water until tank is filled to approximately one inch below the top edge of the water tank. Replace the cap and hand tighten. Then replace the power unit cover. To operate the control unit, first fully open the BIST control valve by turning counterclockwise. Next, turn the system on via the on-off switch located on the control unit. Please allow two to three minutes for the system to prime on the initial startup. Misting operation. To optimize the cooling effectiveness of the system, you can operate the unit with a dry or wet mist based on your needs. To increase the mist density, turn the mist control valve counterclockwise. To decrease the mist density, turn the mist control valve clockwise. When the control unit is turned off, air will continue to blow from the misting nozzles for approximately one to two minutes. This allows the air to clear the remaining water from the nozzles. If you ran into any issues with your unit, visit AuraMist.com or call 1-800-320-6478 and one of our support reps will be happy to assist you.